Hello Zero K fans, welcome to Nanolade Zedon. I'm Fury 333 your host, and we're going to be starting off with a match between Professional and Sprung. Exhibition match, I should point out. Not a tournament, although it's normally. There actually haven't been a lot of tournaments, none have really been scheduled for the next little while. As far as I know, there are no plans at the moment. I think people are just kind of taking a break, which is fine. It's always good to have breaks, make people really hungry for the tournaments again. I think when people start crying out for tournaments, that'll be when we see tournaments again. Anyway, for now, exhibition match, Professional vs. Sprung on Fairyland. Which is a map I was actually just playing on, and is kind of tricky. So this map is, as you can see, it already starting out, you have metal extractors, like two in the back and then one further up front. Which makes it a little bit tricky when you're setting up. Normally you have three in one big chunk that you can easily go with your commander. In this case, not so much, and both players not starting out with a factory. This is really strange. I feel like I missed something. Okay, there we go. Air factory for Sprung, and Professional is going for something, not sure what. But we'll see as soon as they build it. A little bit strange that neither player is going for a factory right out the gate. I feel like this match might have been experimental, but nothing was mentioned in the replay, so I have no idea what's supposed to be going on. So for whatever reason, Professional yet to build their factory. Sprung going for the air factory. And what are they building? And I don't understand Czech. Crap. <sighs> Did I pick a really bad... Okay, there we go. Cloak about factory. All right. It looks like everything's in place. People might have been just slightly confused for a little while. Looks like Professional's trying to enable some stuff. Okay, now we appear to be back to normal, and it looks like Sprung is going for a Raven Bomb. Oh wait, that's Polish. That's not Czech. I'm sorry. But... What is Sprung's nationality? You know what, that, I'll just check that later. So yeah, Raven coming out for, for Sprung. Looks like they're going for four Ravens to go for a Raven Dive in the Commander. Right over here. And it is a recon com, by the way, so three will do the trick. Not that Sprung knows that. Professional being much more economically focused. No Glaive so far, no... Nothing but massive expansion. No workers... I think, sorry, no military units. Workers are the only thing. And a lot of overdrive going on. Not reclaiming the trees, however, which is rather surprising. How many Ravens have we got so far? We have two up, one more in production. Sprung should attack when four Ravens are up. That's usually when the attacks happen. Sprung being, being very cheesy here. But yeah, as I was saying, this map really focused on two mechs expansions rather than three metal extractor ones, which makes expansion a bit riskier than it would be for three. Like, three is... Actually, I guess, so main base being three is the big deal. Expansions being two or three... I mean, three is obviously more lucrative because you only have to defend one... You only have to set up one defense for three metal extractors rather than two. So it's more economical on three than two. Whereas, you know, this... It's... Okay, what? What are Sprung's nationalities? No, Sprung is Polish. That's Polish. That was definitely Polish they were speaking before. That, and I'm pretty sure SZ and CZ constructions pretty much only exist in Polish. To my understanding. And... I... Well, we have a silly game on our hands, people. A very silly game. Big Bertha coming up for Professional. I don't think I have seen a Big Bertha in a 1v1 since... I think one of the tournament matches went on for like half an hour or something, and a Big Bertha was eventually built. And there we go. Four Ravens. Actually, five, six Ravens. Well, five are built, so Sprung was really being cautious. Normally, they go out at four, not five. And they aren't even going out right now. They're actually going back home. What the heck? That's a slight bit strange, but okay. Alright, regroup to six. Are you gonna go out yet? Because the further you the further you wait, the longer you wait, the further behind you are. Bit of a problem there. Professional's commander out front. Although professional right now, their economy is fairly strong. Their commander is building a geothermal plant, but that's not a big deal. They have workers everywhere. How many works do they have? How many conjures do they have? They have four. Actually, three, fourth in production. Fourth is done. 
So Professional trying to win with Big Bertha and Sprung trying to win with Ravens. Very much an odd test match. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to speed this up a bit. I just have a feeling this is just a silly match, so let's just get through it in half the time. Because I don't... I don't know what we're going to learn from this other than Big Bertha's take forever to build. Let's see. I've just... I'm sure Sprung's going to do something. I mean... They have all these ravens. They can very easily pretty much attack every single metal extractor that Professional has, and that would do a lot of damage. That would do an immense amount of damage. And there we go. We are actually seeing exactly that in the main base. A bunch... Oh. Nice emergency gremlin. We do have the commander gone. We do have a couple metal extractors gone. There we go. Sprung hitting hard. Right out of the gate there. Well, not quite... Well, five minutes out. Not terrible. Loses one raven, but overall fairly effective. I think that Sprung and Professional are testing out how easy it is to defend against a Raven Rush like this when you just emergency defend. That's my only guess, but I don't speak Polish, so I don't know. If someone who does speak Polish can translate what they're saying for me, that would be very appreciated. And I will actually probably put this on YouTube just to, in the hope that someone who knows Polish or Sprung and Professional can tell me what's going on, or someone who knows Polish who can just translate what's being said, so I know what was going on. Because I'm curious. I feel like this is a test game. I don't feel like this is actually necessarily a joke game. I feel like this is a game they were specifically trying to test something in. Like, trying to test odd strategies, but still strategies to see how well that works. Because 0k is a game of odd strategy. Nice! That was actually a pretty good spread there. Getting rid of that entire overdrive set. I can respect that. That was, that was well split. Although it might have actually just been an alt, a alt action there, but... No, still. Well done. I'm a bit surprised Sprung hasn't built an air plant, though. Or, no, sorry, an air rearm pad, though. Because with all... How many? That, what, a dozen now? Yes, exactly a dozen. An air rearm pad would do them a great deal of good. How much overdrive is here? Sheesh. Yeah, 230% overdrive off of 80 energy. So about triple... For the cost of 80 energy, because, yeah, that's how Overdrive works. It does not scale well. Not to single metal extractors. If this were connected, it would be awesome for these two. That would actually probably increase Professional's income easily by another 10 or so. I'm pretty sure. And there's the rearm pad. There we go. Sprung's on the ball. They've got that rearm pad going. And now that they have the bombers back up in business... Oh, they are splitting manually! Okay, so that is actually them doing it. Doing it exactly the way that I'd recommend it be done, too. That is, you know, have them all target one and then remove one, target the rest. Like, you select them all, you target one, you remove one, target the rest, move one, target the rest. I'm glad to see that. Sprung's doing that. That's actually kind of a StarCraft thing, but still. It works. It works really well. And the Big Bertha, I'm... Oh, is this a powered one? I don't think it is. I'm pretty sure that it doesn't require additional power, but most large artillery installations do require additional power. Which is why I'm very curious. Also, the fire range is larger than the map, so it will be able to hit Sprung's base directly. Like I said, this is why I think this is a test game, because Sprung has not hit the Big Bertha yet. I think they want the Big Bertha to be built. Oh, yeah. And that's Ooh, one more, one more big bomb attack. And another, another expansion destroyed. I mean, that's the thing. Sprung can basically wipe out entire expansions at the cost of maybe one Raven. Ooh, just about two Ravens. Oh, yeah, got away. That got away. However, that Big Bertha is up. In a fire? What are you up to? What are you up to? Now, nah, Professional's not focused on that quite yet. Folks in getting rid of Sprung there. Sprung, on the other hand, what are they focused on? They're... What are they focused on? Sprung, did, did you turn off the, the lock camera widget or whatever the widget is that... That's not lock camera. Did you turn off the, the widget that allows me to know where your camera is? I think, I think they did. That's really annoying. I don't know why that's a widget you can actually turn off. Quite honestly, that... Okay, there's Big Bertha coming in there. 
And that, I think, is game. I think Sprung has just lost this. Their commander's out of the way, but now that Professional knows where to target, I mean, they have gremlins coming in here, they know where to target. How much is the firing error on this? Oh, they're actually targeting there. I'm thinking, what is the firing error on this thing? They're targeting a bunch of spots that have nothing. And now, let's see, can the Ravens do anything? Wow, that's a lot of razors. And the answer is no, there are too many razors. I guess that test was a success. We know that Big Bertha's can be built if the opponent doesn't do anything. And that was a lot of bombers. I'm really curious what was happening. Oh, apparently Sprung was actually watching this. Oh well. So yeah, for those of you just joining me, this is actually being played at double speed. I I sped it up since I realized that this was a bit of a sillier game. And I figured it would be best to just kind of see what happened, but not dwell too long on it. And I think I was right. This was definitely interesting, just to see Big Bertha as a thing. And also to see that Sprung does the nice bomber split. But otherwise, that was an experiment. I think that was an experiment. That was probably an experiment on their part. I'm curious what they were testing. I don't really know. Just from watching it, I would have thought, like, how well can you do Ravens against a big artillery strategy? But, or how quickly can you build up a big Bertha? I don't know. Oh, Dorsh, you're wondering... Okay, so Dorsh is wondering, how do I differentiate between what Sprung was doing when they were manually splitting and the and holding Alt, I believe, in order to get a spread? If you because if you select, yeah, let's get a bunch of, I guess the Gremlins will do. If you hold Alt and oops, if you go to fight and is it not Alt? Ah, yeah. So you hold this, and if you hold Alt, it'll split between targets. Or I think it's Alt. I can never remember this one. Anyway, if you do that, it'll split man it'll split automatically. Oh, it's control. Thank you, Dorsh. So if you hit this, hit the attack button, circle, drag, and then hold control, the targets will be split. Now, what what Sprung was doing, however, the reason I knew they weren't doing that was because all of their bombers were targeting one thing, and then all but one was targeting the next thing, and then all but one was targeting the next thing, and one was targeting the previous ones. They were splitting, but if you saw the process of the split, there was a bunch of attack lines on a single target, which then got... Well, that got one attack line immediately after. So you see all the attack lines, and then one attack line with all the attack lines to the next thing, and then one attack line to that, and all the attack lines to the next thing, and so on. That is what a manual split looks like. So anyway, that was that. Let's move on to the next game, which will be a game... I don't believe anyone here is experimental, probably much more typical, on Dual Icy Run between RAR and Snugglebase. That'll be up in a couple minutes, so stay tuned!